Hello everybody, my name is Elijah. Welcome to 85 Studios! Um, I am going to show you how to do a simple, very simple, um, electronic circuit today. Uh, and right here is our schematic. Uh, we are using a 555, five, five, where is my finger? Point This camera's confusing. My 555 five, five timer circuit, which is pinout, is laid out right there in this diagram. Uh, it's an NE555, five, 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 um, and it actually is this right here. If you can see it, which you cannot. Okay. NE555, five, 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 it has eight pins. It kind of looks like a spider, um, surprisingly. But I don't mind spiders, they're pretty cool. We're going to stick it on our breadboard, um, which I don't know if you can see, because this camera, this, uh, this camera is not a very good camera, um, the table camera. And so it, if you put it on autofocus, it goes in and out of focus and bounces around and does stupid stuff. And if you don't take autofocus off, if you take autofocus off, then you can't see anything. But if you have it on, you can't see with it anyway. So we'll put that there. And that is our 555 timer circuit, which, um, give me just a second, I'm going to try and uh, correct this uh, brightness here on this table so you can see the board a little bit better. Hmm. Okay, anyway, um, so what this circuit requires, um, and unfortunately I can't put my hand through it because it's not a green screen. Um, is uh, one capacitor, which is going to be uh, zero points. It's going to be one UF um, or microfarad, um, and they say on them. But you know what? <clears throat> I think I'm going to make it blink slower by uh, putting a 100 microfarad uh, capacitor on it, like this one. You can see that. Um, One hundred microfarad. Oops. Oops. Okay. Oh, this is really confusing camera angle. Sorry, my fingernails dirty. That's your negative um, on your capacitor. Capacitor electrolytic capacitors are polarity sensitive, and this one is rated for I think. Oh, let me look here. Um, it is rated for one hundred volts, so we're good. But we're going to power it with 5 volts, so 5 volts will work. Um, so I'm going to follow my schematic here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, let's see, um, in number 1, we want to attach it to, it looks like, our negative for our battery, our negative rail. Um, we're going to move our negative over here going to be here, so that we know where it is. That's a positive, actually. Ah! Hold on. I've got to get a different, a longer wire. we got a positive, and we got a negative, which, I don't know if you can see that, but they're actually divided right here, um, in the middle, right here. So, we want that to be yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so apparently our capacitor actually connects to pin 1. And it's not telling me what... Um, I'm going to go ahead and assume that the negative needs to go to the negative. Like so. And we'll bend it away so it's not in the way. And we want... Uh, actually our capacitor should be coming off of 2. Whoops. Move this further away. Okay. Um, pin number two. It's going to pin number two, going to the ground, going to the negative, it's an electrolytic. Um, pin number one is going to the negative directly. Like that. And we'll bend this back over so we don't, you know, have a problem. Um, we got more wires up underneath here. 
<clears throat> I'll collect them. I have a few wires. I might have to stop the video and make some or get some more. Um, let's see. Uh, then is two is going to six. Um, and on this side, two, three, four, five, six, and it's gonna be here. Oh, I forgot to pull out a four seventy. Uh, 470 ohm. <clears throat> I forgot to pull out a 470 ohm resistor. Okay, so we got the 470 ohm resistors here. I don't know if you can see that. It's upside down now. 470 ohms. I don't know if you can see that. That's okay. Um, and we need one of those to go from pin number six to. Pin number seven. So we'll make a little bridge here with a resistor. So we got four, five, six to pin number seven. Like so. Yep, I'm not even out of the camera high. Okay, pin number six to pin number seven. And then we need a 1K resistor. These are 1K to go. 1K is 1,000 ohms. We need a 1K to go from the hot rail to 7. B7 would be here. Hot rail is here. Oops, it disconnected. That's okay, we got it. Okay, that works. And then we need pins 4 and 8 to connect together and go to the hot rail as well. I need one more little wire. Darn. Where am I going to get one more little wire? Pin number 4. Oops. Pin number 4. Go into the breadboard wire. Come on. Pin number 8. Okay, and yes, I need another wire. Um, I don't know if I have any more solid core wire around here, but I'm sure there is one laying around somewhere. Alright guys, so um, <clears throat> I found a couple more wires. They're in my utility box here. Um, I don't have any more uh, solid core wire for some reason. This, this is the solid core. I've got a ton of that uh, stranded core. Uh, wire, copper wire, for some reason. Um, but uh, anyway, um, we were at four and eight, and then we connect four and eight together, and we connect eight back to our hot, which is going to be right here. And our capacitor, we have a capacitor one. We need to connect our LED to pin number 3 through a 1K resistor, but I'm going to use a 470, I believe, because 1K would make it very dim, <clears throat> which <clears throat> most likely would not show up on the camera. Um, these are 470. Okay. Um because we're using 5 volts instead of 9 volts. Um, this circuit was actually made for a 9 volt system. Um, pin number 3 is right here. And we're going to move this off to the side a little bit. Like this. And he connects to the negative. LED light, Here, LED light, and um, <clears throat> the way you can tell 
the negative on an LED is on the case on the uh, uh, well number one on the case there'll be a flat side um, and the other thing about the uh, LEDs is if you have the lead still intact um, the shorter lead will always be the cathode or negative side of the LED. So we're going to connect him up and I'm gonna go ahead and <clears throat> do this because remember this side of the rail is not connected to anything so I'll use one of these long wires and hook this in a little bit more do your negative and if that <clears throat> let me make sure I didn't miss anything here that looks correct so if all is working and properly connected should have a blinking LED well okay so as you can see guys it's a little complicated but um, it is blinking it's just blinking funny um, I think it's because we're mismatched on our resistors we've got a, a one uh, 1k and a 470 so it's oddball. Let's see if we can change this out and make it different. And we'll go between one and two. And to one would be your negative, so we got closer together. Oh now it blinks just really fast. Can't even see that on the camera. Uh, that's with a 10. One would be just, you wouldn't even be able to see it. It'd be blinking so fast. <clears throat> but we could try one of these big boys in here. These are, uh, let's see, 1,000 at 16 volts. We'll make it blink slow, right? Let's make it blink slow. Really, really, really slow. Man, those leads are fat. Sapphire doesn't like electronics, by the way. She thinks that whatever it is is gonna hurt her, somehow. Even though she's never been hurt by anything like that, that I know of. Wow. It's going so slow, you can't, it's not even blinking. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video, cause we got it working. So, anyway. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video now, cause we got it working. Uh, my name is Elijah, thank you for watching 85 Studios. If you like my videos, be sure to hit subscribe to the channel, and make sure to leave a like. If you dislike the video, leave a dislike, and, uh, like, rate it fairly, you know? Um, this is actually my first electronics video, other than the can of coke thing. Um, I, uh, I like making videos with electronics and that kind of stuff. Um, this is not blinking currently because the capacitor, I just took the capacitor out of it. But um, if you want to see more videos like this, please be sure to hit like uh, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification um, because YouTube is broken um, and subscribers don't always get notified uh, about videos that are being uploaded and run up. So um, anyway, um, be sure to share this video with your friends, and uh, be sure to do what it takes to be happy and epic. So, can you tell I'm tired? Anyway guys, peace out.